Good day. Today we are going to focus on the credit as reconciliation. We are going to be doing the June 2022 paper routing. SEP Sound Clinic is in, in operation for five months from January 2022. Um, and instead of appointing a qualified bookkeeper, Sophia, the owner, prepares the book of um, I mean, Sophia, the owner's wife, prepared the books of the business. Several so sound clinic buys most of its sound accessories from Beat Music. They are only creditor, so they only have one creditor, right? Two point one. Choose a description in column B that matches a concept in column A. Okay, the first one an original invoice. So the original invoice it is um it is received uh, by someone who buys the goods on credit. So that is going to be a uh, letter E. Letter E. A document that appears on the credit statement to acknowledge that faulty goods were, in, uh, were accepted by the supplier. So, a document that appears on the credit statement. Uh, which one is that? That is going to be what? That is going to be the credit note. Okay, that is going to be the credit note. So the credit note that is going to be um going for B and then a proof that payment has been received. That is going to be the receipt. So there is a 2.5, you see. A document sent by the business to the supplier when goods are returned or an allowance is requested. So which one is this? That is going to be the debit note. There is going to be the debit note. D, the debit note. Do you still have anything left? 2.1.2 A document that records all invoices, okay? A document that by this. Or then it's a, a, a summary of what a creditor is owed. That is going to be the creditor's list, letter A. Then now let's go to the internet control. Okay, what are they saying? They are saying, provide two reasons for preparing the creditors' reconciliation. What are the two reasons for preparing the creditors' reconciliation? So let's come here. The first one, to compare or to reconcile. To compare or to reconcile. The creditor's statement the creditor's statement with the creditor's ledger. So you can also say to compare. Uh, the creditor's statement with the creditor's ledger to check whether that there were any errors or omissions that were made. And then you can also say to check if maybe the business wasn't overcharged by the creditor or to check if all the, the or, I mean, to check if all the, um, um to check if all the um, discounts 
uh, the business um, got them correctly in the creature statement, all those things. And then the owner of Saves Sound Clinic is not completely satisfied with the service and quality of good they receive from big music. He's thinking about finding a new supplier. So now he wants to find a new supplier, but then now they're saying stage three factors that he should consider before changing to another supplier. So the first one, will they offer a discount for early payment? The second factor, the um, credit term. How will the, the business will be giving how much time to pay back the supplier? And then what is another reason? I mean, what is another factor that you should um, consider um, the quality of the product? The price, maybe maybe the new supply is going to fire, maybe it's going to be expensive. So those are the things, the distance of finding, maybe the, now the new supply is going to be far away. Those are all the factors that you should consider before changing to another supplier. So then now we are going to the creditors uh, reconciliation. Okay. Here it is. Sophia is prepared. A credit has a consolation on that one may. An investigation revealed uh, many errors and omissions. Complete the table in the answer book to show how the errors and omissions identified must be triggered to reconcile the creditor's ledger account uh, balance of the music in the books of self sound clinic with the statement received. So we are going to compare the creditor's ledger, the, the one that you have prepared as a business, with the statement that you are going to that you have received from a big music. Because remember, at the end of the day, they must be uh, the same. Then we are saying indicates a plus for increase, a minus for decrease, and zero for no change with each amount in the product column. 2.1.4 Balance due to big music on the one May 2022 according to the creditor's ledger. So the creditor's ledger, the one prepared by us, uh, 42,794. So you can see that these balances, they are already recorded with a statement of 46,810 Now the errors and omissions. Big music granted saves sound clinic a discount of 66, um, 67 rand. So our credit are big, big music. Uh, granted us as a business at account, right? Sophia credited this amount in the creditor's ledger account of big music. Now remember, the creditor's ledger, it increases on the credit side. So here, big music was granting us a discount, meaning that the creditors that you are supposed to decrease to show that you are receiving a discount. And the creditors let it decreases on the debit side. But instead of doing that, Sophia credited this amount in the creditors ledger. Now it means that you must come and debit this amount twice. So 67 rand multiplied by 2, that is 134. So you must go and debit this amount in the uh, creditors ledger. So to show that we are debiting it, we must uh, subtract it in the creditors ledger to show that they are decreasing because the creditors ledger decreases on the debit side. So it goes to creditors ledger minus and the same data form. Right? And then 
invoice. Let me check. Okay, invoice 127 or for 8,890 was incorrectly reflected in the creditor's ledger. The error was made in the creditor's ledger. Was incorrectly reflected as 8,780. So let's check it. So we have 8,000. 890 minus 8,780. How much is that? That is going to be 110. So it's an invoice. So the invoice is supposed to increase the creditor's ledger. But the invoice, it was incorrectly recorded as a, as a small amount because it was supposed to be recorded as 8,000. 890, but it was recorded with 8,780, meaning that you still need to increase the creditor's ledger. In the statement, they are saying it is correct. So let's go to the creditor's ledger and increase it with the 110. 10. So it's a plus, 110. Self sound cleaning purchase wiring costing 1600 from Big Music. So, we as a business we bought from Big Music, right? The entry was omitted from the statement of account received from Big Music, meaning that this was omitted. We bought from Big Music, meaning that the statement was supposed to increase, but it was omitted. So, we have to go and record this amount. To show that the statement was supposed to increase as we were buying from them 2.4.4 so we're going to go and add 2000 i mean 1600 so then 2.4.5 so far correctly recorded an eft payment of 4000 in the creditor's ledger account of Peak Music on June 8, May 2022. The statement is, I mean, the ledger is correct. It did not appear in the statement account received. So we must go and record this uh, payment in the statement. Because we're making a payment, because it was a payment, it means that the statement was supposed to decrease as the amount which we are owing Peak Music is supposed to decrease. So we're supposed to go and decrease it with the 4,000. So minus 4,000. Two point four point six. So if you make an electronic um, order to big music for some accessories amounting to 1,350, and immediately recorded this um, in the creditor's ledger account of Big Music. So the creditor's ledger was recorded. However, this transaction did not appear in the on the statement of account receipt. It was also established that these items were not delivered, as Big Music did not um, have stock and will and will not get the stock. In the future okay so we bought from big music right we bought these sound accessories for 1350 and so we immediately recorded this in the creditors ledger before we received these goods and they're saying that this was not recorded in the statement um it was also established that these items were not delivered, meaning that we did not receive these um, items. And we are told that we are not going to get them in the future. So it means that even though this, this did not appear in the statement of account, 
We must not record it the in the statement of account. We should go to the creditor's ledger and cancel it. Because now we know that we will not receive this amount in the future. So it means that you should go to the creditor's ledger and subtract this 1350. As we know that even though we, we I mean even though Sophie made an order and recorded it, because when he when Sophie recorded this, it means that the creditor's ledger was increasing as she was making the order. But now we know we are not going to get this product in the future. So it means that you must go and decrease the creditor's ledger with the 1,350. So, minus 1,350. And then, 2.4.7. So, Fair Correct recorded an EFT payment of 2,840. And an early payment discount of 1000. Okay. Sophia Cork recorded an EFT payment of 8840. Cork recorded and an early discount payment of 160 on the Roman May in the Creditors Ledger account of Big Music. This did not appear on the statement account received. So we made a payment and it was recorded in the creditor's ledger and also the discount was recorded. So when we're making a payment, the creditor's ledger is supposed to decrease. Even the statement is supposed to decrease. But this was not recorded in the statement. It means that you must go to the statement and decrease it as this did not appear there. So it's 2,840 and 160. So 2,840 minus 2,840 minus 160. So now we are done. We are done now. So now we can calculate the debit side must be equal to the trade side. So it's uh, 42,794 minus 104 plus 110. Minus 1350, that is going to be for 1420. And then the statement for the 6820 plus 126 minus 4000 minus 2840 mm, minus 160. So that's going to be for 1000. For twenty, so that is your creditors' reconciliation. We are done.